Everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Martian Dreams. We've gone through the introduction and it's trying to do it again. So let's continue the game. And here we are. Almost. This is the game of Martian Dreams. You can see up here we've got our party. Kilkakon, Spectre and Nelly Bly. Let's check it's recording and it is. Excellent. So as you can see currently I'm, I'm naked and only have a stopwatch. Um, my stats are here. I apparently have blonde hair and a level 4. Uh, Spectre, he's got some clothes. And Nellie Bly, she's got some clothes and a gun. That's right. The girl carries a gun. Anyway, let's, let's say hello to everybody. We never go using the mouse and these little weird toggle things. I will, let's, I will admit, this game's quite fascinating, although the interface is rather clumsy. So, um, yeah. We'll, we'll just we'll persevere. We'll talk to this man. You see a distinguished man with a probing stare. Guten Tag, Kilgeko. What might I do for you? Hello. I'm sorry. I could not understand you. Could you please rephrase that? Goodbye, Kilgeko. Feel free to discuss your concerns or your dreams with me at any time. This guy's interested in dreams. This man over here, let's talk to him. Man in white. It's Tesla, it's very obviously Tesla. Go, my friend, we have landed. Let us see how close my calculations were for our landing site. He strides to the window and stares out for a few seconds. He moves towards the door of the capsule. Good, good, my calculations were precise as usual. We are not far from the site of the 1893 landing. It should be just east of here, with an easy walking distance. The others may have important information you could use on your journey. It would be wise to speak with everybody before exiting the capsule. I would also check with Mr. Garrett for some utensil, with which to pry open the door of the capsule. It seems to be jammed closed. Now if you've noticed how some words appear red, that's something we can actually talk about. So I'll, I'll ask about the 1983 landing. Indeed, it is of paramount importance that you find the landing site of the earlier expedition. The sextant we brought should help immensely. What is a sextant, I might hear you ask? Someone saying hello. Uh, just a second. This here should there should be a sextant in the hold. If you learn the coordinates of the place you wish to go to, the sextant will lead you there. Okay, well that's nice. Okay, see ya. Certainly, my friend. We are both busy. We will speak again later. Okay, oh, oh look, it's an organ. I've had fun with that now. And what is this? It is an oxygenated air machine. Oxygenated, definitely. Let's talk to this man here. Greetings, my friends. Let me check over you while you're here. Can't be too careful, you know. After completing his examination, blood proclaims, no one here is in need of my services. See ya. See if John needs to come. This man's the doctor. He gives you a free heal. Let us talk to this man here, the cowboy. You see a weathered man in his thirties. Howdy, Kilka Khan. Anything I can help you with? Have you got a utensil, Mr. Person? Yes, sir. I carry a whole bunch of different tools with me and I know how to use them. Got me a pry bar and some other doodads. Speaking of equipment, one thing you might ought to do is check out the hold over there and see what's in there in the way of gear. They tell me I hear they got everything we need in there. And at the pry bar. This pry bar here works like a charm on anything that's stuck together. If you need this for anything, just ask. I need it. Well, sir, this here pry bar should fix that problem. Would you like to give her a try? Yeah. Right, here you go. Just put that on the edge of the door and pull. She'll come up real easy with this. Bye. Sure enough, 
You'll come back here any time, you hear? Excellent work. We have discussed the cowboy. We can't talk to nothing, but we can use this door. And now we're inside. There is a lot of stuff here. We need to investigate everything. As you can see, I've now got carrying a crowbar, crowbar. So we shall use the crowbar on here, which pulls the nails out. Then we shall use the crate. We find a Belgian combine, a revolver, and a rifle. We shall take all this stuff. Weight is going to be a problem initially, but um, we'll see what we can do. I shall then use my pry bar on here, and then use the crate again. We find 100 rifle rounds, 40 shotgun shells, and 100 pistol rounds, so we'll get all that. Okay, what's in here? We found a hoe, a shovel, a pick, a scythe, and a saw. What we're going to do is we're going to... Just get some of the stuff and then we'll drop it afterwards. What we want is the shovel. And we, we'll drop the rest of the stuff onto the floor. Because we're responsible people. Onto the floor. I threw it on the ground. Okay, um, now we'll use this chest. We find lots of ladies' clothes. I don't wear ladies' clothes, surprise, surprise. But um, what I do wear is capes. So what we'll do is get the cape. There you are. Get the cape and wear it. Ah. Now I'm wearing pretty much what my character is. If I get some, like, gloves, then it's, like, accurate. I'll also get this carpet bag. This bag is, contains very essential tools that we'll need throughout the journey. We'll also use this crate. We find a sextant and a spyglass. We'll take both of those. Uh, we'll use this chest. A Tesla's reflector kit, we can't use that. How about this one here? Six cans of lamp oil, and lots of more lantern-y stuff. I'm actually getting close to my encumbrance level, we'll see what we can do. We'll get that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Plenty of lamp oil. So what we'll do is we'll then drop the lanterns, because we don't need them. We don't need the lanterns, I hear you ask. True, because there's like three here. Because we're going to get this backpack. This backpack already has a lantern in it and other tools. So yeah. Anyway, we'll use this crate. We find knives, 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 a machete and a saber. We'll get the saber and ignore the rest. We'll use the pry bar on the crate. Then use the crate. We find lots of books. We don't need the books. We find some crystal glasses, we don't need any of that. Candlestick, mug, place settings, don't need any of that. How about here? Work gloves, helmet, man shoes, and wool pants. We can use most of this. We'll initially get some of it. We'll need to distribute the gear throughout the party a bit better than what I've done here. Because currently it's very much random order. One thing I haven't discovered is how to put things into backpacks. Never figured out that one. Alright. So got the shoes. Don't wear shoes, do I? The one thing I do need eventually is, um, some... I currently wear silk gloves because silk's nice. They're, they're ladies' gloves, but who cares. Um, what, what are these? They're work gloves. I suppose I wear work gloves. Um, I'll get that. Put that on, put the shoes on. Trouble is, you see, it's actually quite a, um... It's quite a cold planet, Mars. So you really need to wear heavy-duty clothes. And that's no avoiding that. You actually start freezing if you don't. Be sensible. Alright. So now what we'll do is we'll get this guy. This guy should get that. 
I can actually wear that scarf, so I will wear the scarf. Hector can have the revolver. I shall go this way and I shall drop the pistol bullets. I'll drop 50 of the bullets here and I'll drop the rest of the bullets here. Now, Spectre can go and pick up half of the bullets and he can equip the revolver. Nelly can equip that as well and get the rest of the bullets. Actually what we'll do is we'll have Spectre We'll leave that for now and he'll get the Belgian Combine. And I'll drop the shotgun shell so he can use the Belgian Combine. Uh, 40 shotgun shells. So Spectre, you can get the shotgun shells. Um, yeah, how, but how the combine works is that it is a, com a combination weapon. It acts as either a shotgun, a rifle, or both. Currently, I don't want to waste ammo, so it'll just work as a shotgun only. Um, I'll get that. I think that's roughly everything we need, which is nice. There's more to come, but it's a good start. Either way, we've, I think we've done enough for this video, so when we come back, we will attempt to get out of the door!